Hello everyone, in a recent video I talked about building a new 3D printer and I mentioned I was considering doomifying aka insulating a tiny M build for that. Well, I didn't show any CAD in that video cause, well, I didn't really have much to show but I actually had this much work done on the CAD and uh, I actually shared this as a Patreon update, just uh, behind the scenes stuff but today I'm going to share the current version of the CAD. I definitely didn't stay up, up until 4am just working on this, that definitely didn't happen. But uh, yeah, this is what I have right now, so uh, yeah, this is how it looks from the outside, it's uh, all black in the outside and you can't even see the extrusions, and in the inside I'm thinking about silver, just for the contrast, but uh, yeah, let's get rid of the uh, Doom stuff and just take a look at the tiny amnes of this. So the gantry and the whole Core XY assembly is basically the same as the tiny M. But I did change the idlers and the motor mounts a bit. That is so I can get rid of the open builds esque uh, corner cubes, which are basically from the Boron Zero as well. It's just a scaled up Boron Zero anyway. I wanted to get rid of those so I can mount the extrusion directly to the uh, vertical extrusions. Well, uh, to be honest, actually, now that I think about it, I don't really need these extrusions either. The bottom ones will do. But uh, yeah, we'll see what I do. And uh, I extended the Z quite a bit, I think by 120 millimeters. So uh, if you don't know Tiny M, it's 150 by 150 by 150 in the Z as well. Well, now I think it's 270 or something like that. The lead screw I'm using, the integrated lead screw motor, so it's integrated, ignore the coupling here. Uh, it, the lead screw on it is 320 millimeters. So uh, yeah, that's the height of the. Z movement, there will be a lot of Z movement, this will be a tall boy, definitely not ripping off Nero or anything like that. And as for the outer uh, extrusions, you can see that I went with 2040s, that's to make room for the insulation. For example, on the Voron 2 Doom Cube, we, well, I use 42020s, but normally you use 4040 extrusions on the corners, again to uh, make room for the insulation. Well, in this case I didn't need 4040s, I'll show you how, but uh, 2040s were needed, so that's that. All of the electronics are housed in the back, back chamber, and the bottom is reserved for a drawer, and that drawer is actually a spool holder, so there is a bearing base system here. I'll probably alter the design slightly until I release it, I'm not too happy with how it is right now, but... Basically, it will have a full opening rails and the spool will uh, sit here. There will be like a Bowden holder here, so just so the spool doesn't tangle and it will run to the hot hand through the extruder. Now, uh, for the extruder, there are a few options. I said many times that I'm not a fan of Bowden setups, but at the same time, the direct drive options for the Tiny M are fairly limited. Basically the same options as for the Voron 0.0 with the 0.1 there's a direct drive tool head but you know before that since this is a scaled up version of the first Voron 0 I can use a Sherpa Sherpa Mini whatever the NX guy is called that I'm not 100% but I can use that I can use a Sailfin I think and uh, I think there is one more option but uh, that's really about it and uh, you can't really use like a LGX or just a regular BMG or anything like that. It just takes too much space so they didn't model it. I'm sure I could figure out a way to use them if I really wanted to but you know, that's not the stock option and that would require a decent amount of modification. So the other option is obviously to use a Bowden setup. The problem with the Bowden setup is uh, on top of me not liking them very much, the Bowden tube will have to be very long because the back area here, that's all for the electronics. I didn't model it, but here either will be a buck converter or a 5 volt power supply for the Raspberry Pi. So um, there's no room for the extruder here. The closest I could put it to the hot end it will be here. And uh, that's a really long bottom path, so that's not ideal. I mean, it would work. The Voron 2.2 bottom path was even longer, but you know, it's still not ideal, so I'm not a fan of that. But uh, yeah, we'll t I'll think about what I can do. And uh, yeah, that's the main setup, so I guess uh, let's take a look at the door. Door is basically ripped from the Voron 2.4 uh, Doom Cube, so. 
really it's basically the same other than this front panel just so it looks black and uh, yeah I scaled it down it will use two polycarbonate panels and uh, yeah there's not much to talk about there and uh, with the panels this is how it looks so uh, as you can see there are two layers of panels hopefully you can tell by the color difference the outer panels will be black steel 2 mm thick except the top and bottom ones they're 5 mm thick just for there's no good reason just for fun of it and the inner panels will be silver and I think I'm going to go with aluminium now I know metal isn't great for heat insulation you don't have to tell me that but I want these panels laser cut and for that I don't really have many options uh, acrylic won't work because it can tolerate high temperatures polycarbonate won't work because you can't laser cut it and I know there are a few other plastic options but uh, as far as laser cutting options well that's really about it so those won't work and then there's wood which I'm not going to use for obvious reasons so I'm left with metals but uh, that being said uh, there is a decent amount of room for insulation between the panels so I think it will still work very well so uh, you can see that the uh, space in between the two panels for almost every panel is basically the thickness of the extrusions which is 20 millimeters so uh, yeah I can have up to 20 millimeters of insulation in between uh, if I go with a rubber insulation like I did on my Voron 2 uh, on my Voron 2 I use 13 millimeter thick insulation it goes from 7 to 13 to 19 if I remember correctly so I can use 19 millimeter thick rubber insulation here if I want to and it is double panel so it will insulate even better and the inner panels will be silver so they will also be reflective which is also better for insulation but uh, at the same time I can also mess with some nastier uh, insulation materials I don't know fiberglass or whatever I don't really want to do that but that's still an option and I'll think about it but uh, yeah you can see the around the chamber it's almost uh, two panels everywhere around it so yeah, if you look at this cross section it's all of them but if we look here uh, as you might guess the rear side is a bit more complicated so uh, here is still two panels but here it will be a single panel I'll still have the insulation here it's just I can't have another panel below that but uh, yeah other than that it's all double panel everywhere so I think it will insulate pretty well and it will tolerate high temperatures as for the color scheme this is what I'm thinking I already talked about uh, colors of these panels black and silver but in the inside I'm thinking about the 3d printed parts being black as well and uh, yeah that's uh, I usually like all black builds so yeah I think it will look pretty nice but I'm also considering uh, getting MJF parts or something like that this printer would be easier to use MJF parts with because there aren't as many plastic parts and uh, I'm less likely to upgrade this in the future so uh, yeah, I think it will be a better choice for MJF parts than my Voron 2 but uh, definitely I'm still uh, thinking about high temperature parts for my Voron 2 don't take this the wrong way and uh, that's just some thought I definitely won't go with the same 3D printer company that I went with for my uh, previous parts I ordered for the Voron 2 they were horrible but I know there are other options so uh, yeah I can find someone to MGF print them but uh, we'll see I could also just go with black ABS like I do usually and uh, yeah this is really about it I just wanted to show you the stuff I have on CAD this still doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to build this exact setup and in fact I'll say it most likely won't be this exact setup anyway I'll have to do minor modifications but uh, yeah as far as if I'm building a Tinyam or something else I think I'm going with a Tinyam build and I think I'm going with this if I thought otherwise I wouldn't have showed this uh, CAD right now so yeah let me know what you think about this if you have any opinions you can let me know in the comments below this is the time you would be most influential since I'm still in the planning phase of this build once I start actually building this, you know, I'll still take whatever you say into consideration. But if I already ordered parts for it or built it, well, not much I can do. As for when I'm going to start building this, probably sometime next month. I have to order the parts for this and I have to also print the printed parts for this on my Voron 2. And my Voron 2 isn't working at the moment, but uh, it will be very soon. Uh, stay tuned for that. This, uh, the next episode of the Voron 2 series, I plan to get it working. 
and for that I'm waiting for the spider board uh, Fistake will send me but uh, yeah we will get the warrant to working we will print the parts for this and the warrant 0.1 upgrade and for me to continue the warrant 2 projects I need at least one working backup printer so we'll get this or the warrant 0.1 working first and then we will continue the warrant 2 doom cube upgrades the enrage rabbit project the nevermore rail filter and the skirts and stuff like that that will continue but until then I will continue working on the cat. There are still some things I need to finalize and I also have to decide on the extruder that I'm going to use so there's still some cat work to do but um, yeah until then uh, I'll work on that but uh, yeah that's really it for this video I just wanted to show you the cat of what I have right now definitely stay tuned for this probably sometime next month and uh, yeah that's it so i hope you're excited for this stay tuned and if you aren't subscribed subscribe so you don't miss those videos and well yeah that's it so thanks for watching